This is a guitar lesson for Daisies by Katy Perry. With this lesson, there comes a free download. It is a free chord and lyric download, which you can grab above or below after the lesson. And remember to hit like and subscribe if you want to keep up to date for all the latest songs released every Friday here on this channel. All right, so to play this Katy Perry song, Daisies, you will need a capo on the fourth fret. And the chords, there are three chords for the whole song. We have a G. You can do four finger G or three finger G, whichever one you wish, B minor, and then A. Alrighty, so the verse and the pre-chorus, it goes as follows. They're single strums. It's pretty low tone to begin with. So this covers all the verse and all the pre-chorus. Okay, so it goes one and two and three and four. I'll do that one more time. It goes one and two and three and four. One, two, three, four. You do that again. One and two and three and four. One, two, three, four. Just make sure you get the count. So it goes one and two and three and four. The G, one and two and. That B minor happens on the and after two. One and two and three and four. And the A happens on four. So that line all together goes one, two, three, four. Da 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 One, two, same again. Da 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 Okay, that's your verse, now the pre-chorus, the I'm the small town, one in seven million da, 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 da. Alrighty, so that brings us soon into the chorus. You'll notice I'm playing my A with my index down like that. Well, you can also do this one if you wish, just um, I rather that one. If you're coming from a bar chord to A, it's a quick little change. Now, then we get the rhythm in the chorus. Do not be alarmed. I repeat, do not be alarmed. It goes as follows. I'll play it once, slowly. It goes three, four. Okay, now, looking at these, you're going to see that the rhythm pairing on the G there, it goes down, down, up. That stands for one and a. And like, this is the legit rhythm. So if you want to play like what's on the recording, this is the one. So that's what we're working on. Now, again, what we'll do is I will simplify this out slightly by playing all of the rhythm of this first bar, the G, B minor, A, I'm going to play it all on G so you can hear how it goes. And if you look at the rhythm underneath G, the down, down up sign, just trace that along as I play it. I go. So that's all the rhythm of that first bar. All right, so we went down, down, up, down, up. So you could begin by learning that first. And that's what we get when you practice it and speed it up. Now the next stage then would be to put in the chords. So look at where it changes to B minor and then A. Do that one more time. Sorry, do that one more time. Okay, so that will be the next part to take out. And on the second bar, you're on the A chord for all of it. And the rhythm in the second bar goes. So it's almost like a mirror rhythm. You see it goes. Like that. Now, 
let's say you're at the stage now where you've practiced the rhythm and you've gotten it working with the chords right so i'll play one more time three four now one thing that you could add in is the following if you trace down let's look at the a chord there and just trace down on the screen you're looking at the down then you're looking at the zero two 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 zero at the real bottom do you see that sort of arrow that's facing right that is phrasing to say strum harder and you notice where they're placed they're placed on the a and they're placed in three other positions in the next bar so notice how it sounds when i add those in i go from the g adds that drive into it and again like all the other things just take it so slow and build it up from there like if i was practicing this beginning it i would begin with the a i go and i'd get used to doing it on that then i'd join it to the g to b minor all righty so that is the rhythm for the chorus now, the thing about this is, well, if you really don't fancy that, you can still do the rhythm yet at the start, like the, the, like that. That will still work. They told me I was crazy. The other one. Now, after that chorus, what happens next is you go back and you play another verse. Then there's another pre-chorus, which we've already, it's the same chords. And then you're back into the chorus. So it's all done. Um, any questions at all, please give me a comment. Let me know how you're getting on with this. And remember to download your lyrics and chord sheet. It will help you for singing and playing it in time. Hey guys, thanks so much for watching to the end. If you have any questions, as I've said, just post a comment below. I'll be happy to answer. Remember to sub to keep up to date for all the latest lessons. And remember, you can grab your free download above.